This is all about China's innovation in agriculture that helps other countries in the world. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. Now before we start, always be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. China's innovation in agriculture has been on the rise and expanding not only locally but also globally. Many countries in the world are already benefiting good produce as a result of using China's most advanced agricultural technology and methods. So today, you will see the best examples of how China's innovative methods and technological advancement in agriculture are already being used by other countries. And since I don't want to waste any more of your time, okay, let's proceed to my number one. Number one is China Africa sees stronger agricultural cooperation. China and Africa have collaborated on agriculture for 60 years. China began by providing grants and loans, then cooperation gradually expanded to a wide range of activities, including trade and investment. African countries need international funding, technology, and knowledge to overcome these problems and boost productivity. But foreign investors have long neglected African agriculture, and assistance from traditional donor countries is chronically insufficient. Hence, the opening for a committed player such as China. Number two is China's demonstration centers improve Togo's agriculture. The demonstration center is one of the first of 15 such aid facilities established under the first China-Africa Cooperation Forum held in 2006, completed in 2010. The center covers an area of 10 hectares, 8 of which are for growing rice. The project aims to provide Togolese farmers with advanced farming techniques. China's Zhongmei Engineering Group won the bid among other Chinese competitors to build and operate the facility. The rice output at the demonstration center is at least three times larger than that of the local rice field. The land fertility is the same. So what makes the difference? Proper land management. Number three is Chinese Zimbabwean joint venture for improved farming. Zimbabwe's land reform program handed thousands of peasant farmers large tracts of land but many lack the capital, equipment, or know-how to fully utilize it. Mm -hmm. 
that retarded the country's economy and reduced it from being a breadbasket to a net importer of food. But an unlikely source is providing inspiration in Chen Hoi in the country's Mashona, Land West Province. Number four is China funded agricultural technologies transforming lives of Kenyan youths. Alan Humba developed a passion for farming at a tender age having grown up in a rural village in western Kenyan county of Bihiga, where households were guaranteed of food security and financial freedom through cultivation of staples like maize and legumes. Humba's day job involves assisting farmers to establish greenhouses using locally sourced materials to enable them to shield their crops from virulent pests, diseases, and weather-related shocks. Number 5 is Co-op with China benefits Argentine biotech company in agriculture. Co-op with China benefits Argentine biotech company in agriculture. BioSeries aims to increase crop productivity and add value to raw materials in the agricultural field with fully integrated biotechnology. Located in the city of Rosario, 300 kilometers north of Buenos Aires, it has benefited from cooperation with Chinese partners since 2013. Seed breeding Industrial expansion and provision of services constitute the three pillars of the bilateral research and development. Number six is Cherry Orchard reveals deepening China-Tajikistan agricultural cooperation. Agriculture is the pillar industry of Tajikistan. Farming accounts for 70% of the country's agricultural industry and 90% of farmers are growing fruits. This one of the largest cherry orchards in Tajikistan, with more than 40,000 cherry trees planted in the mountainous country. Tajikistan was among the first countries to participate in the China-proposed Belt and Road Initiative. Agricultural cooperation under that framework is expected to see more opportunities and bring more benefits to both peoples. Number 7 is China Aid Agricultural Technology Demonstration Center trains students in agriculture in Zimbabwe. The China Aid Agricultural Technology Demonstration Center in Zimbabwe conducted a four-day training program for the first-year students in agriculture. 
The center provides a wide variety of farming programs desired to equip students with scientific and technical knowledge in agriculture. So I hope you found this video wonderful. And if you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.